there, welcome to our quick video on free flowing regulators. This question seems to come up a fair amount, so I thought a quick video would be a good thing to add to the site. So, just real quickly, why does a high performance regulator free flow? And you notice I use the word high performance because we should all be breathing high performance regulators because they give you more bottom time. It makes it easier to breathe. Well, inside a high performance regulator, there's a little flow vein, and I'm pointing to it right here, and I'll show you it in a second. That flow vein has two positions. It has the slope position, which causes a little bit of turbulence and backflow and prevents a regulator from free flowing. But in the flat position, it causes a laminar flow, which means that this diaphragm will be pulled in slightly. This is where the lever is. This is where the diaphragm is on the second stage. And that the air will want to flow from here to there, meaning power assist for breathing. Because it makes it easier for you to breathe, you get more bottom time, you get more tank time. Cool. All like that. That's what we're here for. So, let's look at the inside of a regulator really quick. All right. This is the diaphragm and the cover removed. This is the lever right here that I was talking about. As you breathe in, the diaphragm pushes down on this lever, and it opens up the air valve, which flows into here. And if you look right here, let's get this angled right so you guys can see this. That's where the flow vein is that I'm moving back and forth. And you can see that flow vein goes down into the position where it causes turbulence. And in this position, it's just a laminar flow coming out of there. So let's look at this in actual practice. I have a splash proof camera, and you need a splash proof camera for this. So let me demonstrate this in the free flow position. If you press the purge button, this is what should happen. That is, this free flow is occurring right here. In the turbulent position back this way, this is what happens. It won't free flow. This is a correctly tuned high performance regulator. This, by the way, just happens to be a C300, one of my absolute favorite regulators in the whole world. So, and you also notice when it did free flow, exactly what I did was I just provided back pressure back here with my finger. Just like that and it stops free flowing. All the regulator is looking for is a little back pressure right here, the diaphragm pops back out and the lever pops back out and, the, and it will stop flowing. So let's do the splashy part of this. I have a splash proof camera. So what happens when you drop your regulator, diaphragm in the water first is the water pressure will push up on it because it thinks you're trying to breathe and then it will start free flowing. Like that. So, in the turbulent position, it should do this. And it stops right away. Okay? Um, one of the reasons you want to keep it in the turbulent position or the, the non-laminar the non position is if you're getting in the surf and you're trying to put your fins on and this keeps hitting the water or the surf, that will prevent it from free flowing. Otherwise, you always want to dive this in the free flow position because it's power assist for breathing and it actually helps you breathe. Um, one other thing I'll point out is octos are generally always kept in the turbulent position or this position right here so that when they're put in the water they don't free flow like a good primary regulator would and when you purge them which also means that an octo is going to be a little bit harder to breathe than the primary stage. Questions? Give us a shout. Talk to you all later.